Hi, friends. I was wondering why my toes woke up wet. <laughs> I thought that was a dog. Mm. We're just leaving Mike's place. Um, the next 18 miles is pretty dry. Sounds like there's some mud puddles you can kind of filter out if, you know, in an emergency, but we're carrying four liters each because we're probably gonna dry camp tonight, not near water, and then make it to Paradise Valley tomorrow. It's very green here. And this is Mike's. You can actually see it from where we are. You can see the water tank. That's where we filled up this morning. Very helpful. So we only have 0.9 of a climb left. It was two and a half miles up. You can see the trail right there. Yoop. Taking a quick break. I got my candy. Oh, look how gross my nails are. <laughs> so Mike's place had uh, mixed reviews and it seems as though when there's a caretaker there, people have a weirder experience than when Mike and Spirit are there. And we had the caretaker experience. <laughs> Nothing bad happened or anything, but it was definitely a, an odd experience. <laughs> mm -hmm. There was a lot of character. <laughs> yeah. So, but it was super cute and I'm sure it would be super amazing if uh, Mike and Spirit were there. So we're really sad that we missed out on that. Um, but we did get to cowboy camp for the first time on their, on their front porch, which, you know, isn't in the dirt. So it made me feel a little bit better about, you know, creepy crawlies and you still I was very with, warm. You still woke up with the beetle underneath here. Yeah, I had one of those in my earlier videos, I showed this black beetle that like burrowed under my sleep, my sleeping mat. So when I lifted it up, it was like, hello there. <laughs> there ended up being no food or beer, which, you know, we didn't expect it. We don't expect much on the trail, but did we really, really, really hope that there was food and beer there? Really, yeah, really. we did. We really, really hoped. So not a big deal, but <laughs> um, yeah, we rolled in about eight o'clock and got ready for bed and, and pretty much went to bed. Or was it 7? 7.30. 7 7.30. Hello there, little buddy. Right in the middle of the trail, I see. Are you going to move? Hmm? Oh, what if I'm in your shit, in your sun? All right, we're taking a break. I'm basically in a bush. You can see it here. To get some shade. My feet are just so hot. Like, I don't know if it's the sand is really hot or the down uh the downhill is just you know a lot of friction but I just took off my socks and my feet are like 10 or 20 degrees cooler going down no oh, there's still a view over there though It is so hot today. We're taking our third break. This is my view. I'm basically in this tree. We're calling this the feather duster tree because these are so soft. This is the best tree to run into with your legs. The rest are terrible and will cut you. I am a greasy hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask you what you wanted to tell all of our fans. Oh, I am a greasy hot mess. <laughs> you are. I, love, I, love. I have more sunscreen in my hair than. Come on, Euph euphemism. Isn't that what that is? Ranch you use on chicken. <laughs> I should put that ranch video that I was dying. <laughs> 
Look at Kyle's toe socks. Aren't they cute? He has such cute feet. No, I don't. <laughs> just when they have the socks on. They're manageable. <laughs> they do look cute, though. You want to show everyone your blisters? No. <laughs> you look at this blister. Oh, my God. With my new shoes, though, I don't even feel it, which is crazy. Look, we're cuddling. He loves me. <laughs> Moving again. All right, so it's 10 miles to the water. I'm running a little low. We're going to see if we can night hike there tonight. We'll see how far we get. Also, my snack sack turned into a little thing to protect my uh, neck because I was getting a little sunburned. We're running a lot on sunscreen, so we're trying to save it for tomorrow. We're in a nice shady area. Just took a drink. Kyle's stretching. Oh, my feetsies. Cactus. Cactus, cactus. Back in cactus country, out of shrubbery. Oof. I was just walking on this. It's a cistern. And Kyle's like, I'm not walking on this. And I look over there. There's. <laughs> it's like caving in. Okay, let's go take a look. This is the next water source. We actually packed enough water out because we heard this was pretty gross. Let's see if we can see in there. Is the light on? Oh. Mm. Just some mud and rocks and sticks. PCT sign. I don't know if I've ever showed this sticker. This is the sticker for the trail. Hello, little snick. You are pretty. You're like purple and blue. All right, move it. Move along. Move. Go. Come on. Go. Good little snick. Little snick. Bye, Go find snack. your home. Bye, baby snick. So we're going to do some night hiking. Uh, we got our headlamps already. So we just climbed up a big cliffside and I walked right past the rattlesnake and it didn't do anything to me but once Kyle got to it it hissed and rattled at him it was a little scary but we're okay and we're gonna be more careful oh, it does. It's a night hiking. This is about all I can see. A little spooky, but it's so cool. It's so worth it. I think we're going to try and do this up uh, big inclines so we don't have to do it during the day. This is the city. I don't know what city it is, but it's pretty. Oh, well, there's the moon. If you can see any stars. Probably not. All right, so we just got done night hiking and it was amazing. It was so cool. And after seeing that rattlesnake, we pretty much ran up the mountain. That was our biggest incline because we were so like juiced up on adrenaline. <laughs> oh yeah, can you tilt this down? Oh, spooky. Cool. Good night. <laughs>